Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio, and today's storyboard tip has to do with grouping things together on the storyboard. And what do I mean by grouping? Well, if you're familiar with graphics applications, you might know that you can select different elements on your image, and you can group these two things. These are two separate elements. This is an image, and this is text, but what I can do is I can group them together. So now, they're one group, and I can give this group a name, and just call it like my group and then what I can do is I, when I move one it moves both of them together and this can be very handy when you're organizing elements in your design well you can do the same thing on a storyboard so let's go take a look at our storyboard here so for example say on this storyboard I want to switch around the ideas with the projects I want projects to come after ideas but as you can see when I select these they're all separate elements well what I can do is I can group them together I select the ones I want in one group, and then I click on the editor menu, and I click on embed in a view. Well, this doesn't look right, but that's just because the default background color is white for a view. So we can just change this to clear. And now, as you can see over here in my document outline, this view now has this button, this text, and that title. And maybe I want to give this a name. I can just call this projects group, like that. So now, if I want to switch it around, what I'll have to do is create a group with these. So you select all the ones that you want, click on Editor, Embed in a View, and again I'm just going to change the background color to clear, and you can see it over here, and I can even uh, rename this Ideas Group. So now, moving them around will be a lot easier. So I, I just make sure I'm selecting the project group here and move that down and then I make sure the ideas group is selected and I move that down and so that is a lot easier to manage these groups of objects on the storyboard so if you change your mind afterwards and you don't want these things to be in a group well what you can do is just select the group and come back up to the editor menu and you'll notice there's an unembed option now so I just unembed it and now it removed the view that was grouping them together and now they're just all on their own. So it's pretty handy because it it doesn't misplace or displace any of your your items. So to unembed the projects group, you just make sure it's selected, and then you come to the editor and unembed. And there you go. So now you you added groups, you moved things around, and then you removed groups. All right guys, that's it for this storyboard tip. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider sharing it on your blog or on Facebook or on your Twitter feed so you can help other developers just like yourself. And consider subscribing because I come out with tips every single Monday. Thanks, guys.